All right, guys. So we have some more information for the uh, the ninth anniversary fan meeting that happened. Um, obviously, since some of it was under wraps, we didn't understand all of it. But since we have translations from um, Air and Goresh, we can go through now and um, get a better idea of information that I might have missed in the last video. So a big thing, obviously, um, they plan to announce something even beyond Extreme D Awakening. So this will be a potential EZA2 esque type ability in the near future. So this will probably be another mechanic similar to what's going to happen for the um, the ninth anniversary right now. So we're going to have a new mechanic something like that. So um, I didn't pull this up in advance ahead of time, but we can be looking at something similar to something like uh, this guy. So the first anniversary. Um, Units, celebration units would be Super Gogeta and um, Janimba. Both of them could be on the horizon for the first one since it'd be pretty, um, I'd say pretty poetic as the first anniversary is the ninth anniversary. These would probably be the guys that make the most sense for, um, I guess, releasing for that for the second EZA, EZA2, whatever you want to call it. Ascended EZA, something like that. Now, we've been talking about this for a while, and it looks like enough people actually brought that forward in like surveys where, like, you know, all these all these old units need to be like viable again now, so they can do that again, they can make this guy interesting. If he can be used and viable on the new Gogeta's team, this could be a very cool, um a very, very cool uh, unit. Alongside even someone like um someone like Janimba, this guy. He already has guards, so if they'd give him like damage reduction and better uh, dodge chance and stuff, better stats, obviously because these guys already have like phenomenal stats. Um, even now, because they're just those old units just have really good stats. So, um, if they do these guys right, I mean, like these these are very good links. Like these these are good cards. So these could be um, really interesting. So I'm actually looking really forward to um, seeing what those could possibly do. What what the future holds for that. Um, another thing, obviously, since um, they didn't show this like last year. They show the uh, fan meeting questions that happened. Um, they didn't show it this time around. So here's your basically what's going on. What's he gonna be talking about? So the PvP content obviously is not planned and implemented. Um, I think this is very good. Both of these are very good for the game. This especially second easy is very very healthy, very good for the game. Uh, PvP not coming to the game is also very healthy. This is a PVE type game. Uh, PvP would be fairly toxic in a game like this, especially with accounts as old as mine or like someone like the Truth, Goresh, or something like that. Uh, you would want to go it up against someone like that, like a whale. It's, it, it just wouldn't be fun. That would be a horrible um, interaction for players that have played so long. Their accounts are so stacked, so good. So they've been playing a lot. They put a lot of effort into it. And if you knew players, you would be deterred pretty easily. Um, and then a survey on whether you would like to use the pre-awakened illustration. So this is probably preferring something like the um, the uh, my data page. So on your uh, profile uh, right now, if you have, um, you can put up your favorite card art. So Say he's like for me, I liked the full power Lunar Break of Vegito. I kept a second copy of him so I could have him his uh, SSR stick. I think his SSR looked better than his TU art, and I put that as my um, profile icon. But maybe in the future, you can just straight up show just that card art, even if it's already awakened and stuff. And this also could possibly lead into someone like maybe having a transformed character's art put in here. So, say like the new Gogeta and Broly, if you wanted to, maybe they can this where you can show like the transformed Gogeta Blue state and full power Broly state here instead of whatever their um, pre transformed states are. So um, this could be pretty cool. Um, I think this has potential to be interesting. And um, just a newsflash, uh, they showed a portion of Gogeta and Broly's animations in the uh, um, the fan meetup video. So they, they didn't show us for us obviously the stream, but like the people there got to see like a snippet of what they had and their original animations too. So um, that's also very interesting. I. I wish would like it be leaked. I think it'd be better for us in general, like if they don't, it just pumps up eventually and we see it. But yeah, keep that in the uh, in the mind. Um, let's see. Uh, let's just hop into Goresh first then, okay. So he just put out a few things that we might have missed, because obviously we don't speak Japanese, and um, he's fairly fluent in it, so. Uh, I already went through this, but the ninth anniversary theme is Super. But he says it doesn't necessarily mean that everything will evolve stuff from Dragon Ball Super. So there may be other interpretations of a super in general, so they might decide on the content implemented during the celebration. Okay, so yeah, so super is broad, I guess, but I'm, I'm seeing super as like Dragon Ball Super. So anything in before or after this um, timeline is up for um, up for uh, like a, a car celebration units. So 
Uh, I'm seeing this as anything in super is up for uh, on the table. On uh, the background for the base code login, yeah, we already already said that Shinron, it's in the shape of a nine, so you can see it for the ninth anniversary. And that's the first um unit for a lo uh, login character that isn't actually Goku, so it's also cool. Uh, there'll be a random login bonus during this, so this will be like um the radish one we have right now on global, or like the uh, wood chopping one with Gohan. I'm gonna make a separate video on this too, but um, LR, SGR, UI, Go Goku will be easy gain before the anniversary starts. So during the countdown campaign, the nine days before. So um, this is really big too, actually. Like this is what I'm saying. This, this celebration is looking to be like the greatest celebration ever. Like this guy. Oh, I guess I don't think I'll do a video about it, but like this is this is big. This is really big. Um, so the phrasing for Amansu using the scrap Gogeta and Broly, um can transform slightly implies that the transformers via passive skills and not active transformation when conditions are met type thing but there's no actual confirmation of this of course but i, I could see something like that happening like a turn three turn four type transformation or like the um year fives that would be very good for the game so we can just get them um also amatsu apparently also acknowledged the fact that they, yeah we haven't had a full power broly since the movie under celebration which was four years ago so, um, yeah, so he hopes all the Broly fans are pleased with the character selection, which, I mean, I, I'm, uh, I think I speak for all the Broly fans that I'm excited for this. Uh, we deserve a good Broly. I mean, I've been wanting a transformation Broly like this, no confessed, L or whatever, for a long time. Um, so Vegeta has the new skill, Target Focus, so this is the Taunt ability. Um, this could be the single best ability in the entire game. Uh, if this guy is as good as I think he's gonna be, this could really make um, other potential weaker units viable. And really like make the meta shift in a way. So like someone like Fujimasu could be done now with other weaker um, card options with someone like him on the team. And then he could bring all those AoE attacks just to him. So this, this could be a very, very interesting ability here. And so a new Dokkan commercial air, including the television and Broly. Okay, interesting. Okay. Yeah, so the Broly movie's coming back in theaters too, so that'll be interesting. But um, another thing is just to... I don't think it's here. But I think I already said it, but um, yeah. So it's a Carnival Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta and a Dokkan Fest exclusive full power Super Saiyan Broly. So that's part one stuff, okay. Of course, Easy AUI is coming before in the countdown campaign. The new category, Dragon Ball Super Bosses. Led by Broly, right here, and uh, Easy A 2.0 will be released in the near future. So I'm imagining at least we're getting one or two of those for um, this celebration here. Um, so still no producer's letter, obviously for Global, and the battle hour is scheduled after the ninth anniversary live stream, which will be the 28th, so seven days from now. So we'll see if something's there. Um, the roadmap update, there's nothing new. It's just you know Easy A 2 public announcement will be released on March of JP. And the sync time frame announced something, okay, something like late 2024. So we'll get information for this at the end of the year, probably around um, worldwide again, we'll get information for that. But it, it was five years. Dude, that's crazy. It was, I thought it was four years, it's five years, that's wild. Five years to wait for a card like that, that's crazy. But yeah, so expect big, big things for this mechanic right here. This is, like, I think the biggest thing, actually. Like, that is huge. Like, something like this um, could be really, really good for the game. Um, it, it, it could be anything, dude. Like, just, just imagine, like, the possibilities for these older, lesser cards. Like, okay, this, this is, like, kind of off, but, like, even someone like, uh, where is he? One of the first Easy A's, this dude. So, he was a very, very hard unit to obtain because the Easy A's were really hard back then, but he was like amazing back then. Like, he was phenomenal. An amazing, amazing unit back then, dude. And look at this stats. So, imagine if they give him the treatment he did back then. So, I'm also really keen. I'm open for it if they make these really hard to do, like the um, events themselves hard. So long as, um, like the units themselves are also like really good. So if the event's hard, like the EZA is hard, I'm totally cool with that. If they counteract it and make it to where they're really good, like remember LR Broly? His was a really hard EZA, but he was phenomenal. He was amazing when he dropped. So 
I'm I'm hoping they do something similar. Like Thieves was really hard back then, so if they make it really really challenging, but it's really rewarding, then it, it totally it pans out, it evens out at the end of the day. So um, look forward to this and a uh, new news posted. But um yeah, this celebration it is looking very very good. Um, like dude, come on, look look at this. Like we're we're set, man, we're set. But uh. Yeah, that's, that's all I got for you today. I uh, expect another video coming out for SGR or UI Goku. I'm going to go in detail with that and uh, what potential abilities I think I might see from that and when it's coming. But um, yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed. hope it informed you and look out for more new shows. So, as always, take care. Have a good one. Yeah. Bye, guys.